Hi, this is Jennifer Stay from Coloring Pages Bliss, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about art therapy and pain management. Fun! <laughs> um, if you know my story at all, you know that um, I suffer from chronic pain, and I do a lot of art in order to help myself um, cope with that pain and over the last couple days my pain has flared up and so I feel like I'm dragging through mud and so I've been reminded again how much art helps me to cope with my pain and there's something I've been doing lately that has really been very therapeutic and I thought I would share it with you real quick and let you enjoy it as well and it's creating color swatches. It's very simple um, but it's very relaxing and it has been really fun and you don't have to think and you get to enjoy a creative process and you get to enjoy pretty colors and it's really nice. And so I'm going to create some color swatches with some new pens that I picked up. Uh, I went to the art store after a doctor's appointment yesterday and picked up some new jelly roll pens. I also picked up a new, let me grab it here, a new white jelly roll pen that I'm going to uh, make a swatch out of too that I'm excited to try. And I also stopped in at the dollar store the other day and picked up this new package that I found of gel pens that I want to try too. So I'm excited to make some swatches and show you just how relaxing it is just to lay some ink down onto a paper. And um, maybe you can try it too next time you're not feeling good. One of the things I love about gel pens is that they go on so smooth and easily onto your paper. And so you just relax and it doesn't take a lot of effort. If your hands are aching, they just go on so nicely. So that's why I like my gel pens. Well, there's lots of reasons I like my gel pens. So. Today I'm working inside my little sketch art kit here that I showed how to make in another tutorial so you can check that out. I'm going to tape in a little piece of black paper here to do the swatch um, for my white gel pen. I'm just going to use a cute little washi tape. There we go. And I don't do anything too formal when I make my swatches. I just usually draw some rectangles for each color. So this set has four colors in it. And I, on purpose, I make my rectangles nice and sloppy. I don't get out a ruler usually and then I usually write underneath them just like that. I am going to make a note here that these are fine tip <laughs> because it might make a difference here just like that. And then I have, if I take out my white, I have, there should be six here. There's probably a sixth. I'll have to look for that. Um, yeah, there should be six. So then I have my jelly rolls, and I think I'm not even going to draw squares for those. So I'm just going to kind of hit fast forward and let you watch how I make these swatches, and you can see how relaxing it is, and you can make swatches out of pencil crayon, and they're really nice to refer to so you can see kind of what color what colors you have and how good your your tools work. Are they really juicy pens? Are they wimpy pens that need to be thrown into a pile for your kids to use? Or um, are they going to become some of your new favorites? That's what doing swatches will do for you. But when I'm coloring for pain relief, um, if I have a headache or um, I'm aching like I am today, 
I usually try to relax my shoulders. I take deep breaths. I have um, water nearby to drink and I don't, I'm not too fussy about the coloring and I just relax and enjoy the colors and enjoy the process. So I'm just going to let you sit back and relax and enjoy this process too. Well, I feel much more relaxed. Um, and I think my page turned out really pretty. Um, the dollar store pens, they turned out about what I expected because they're fine tip. They're going to be really great for adding flourishes and little details, but they're not going to be great for coloring because of how much back and forth you have to do to get them to do anything. But they laid down pretty good color. I had to tap them a few times to get them to go, but not bad. So see they're doing pretty good here. They'll be good for writing notes um, in meetings. So that's fun. But the gel roll, jelly roll pens were really fun to play with. Turned out really pretty. Let me move them in the light so you can see the glitter really good. They turned out really pretty. Um, I'm going to put a link below to another blog that I did several months ago all about how I use coloring for pain relief. It's really been a huge help in my life dealing with all the chronic pain and problems that I deal with and it's helped me find a lot of joy and bliss and happiness and it's helped me be able to be a part of the world again and so I hope that next time that you're feeling a lot of pain and maybe you don't feel good enough to actually do a coloring page you will think about this and maybe pull out some of your favorite coloring supplies and do some art and do some little color swatches and just enjoy the process of creating and hopefully it will give you some pain relief and help you feel a little bit better. I hope you have a wonderful and as low pain as possible and colorful day. Thanks!